question regarding domain renewals. So I've had my, my domain and my web hosting company for the last seven years. Uh, sorry, 11 years. Let me guess. GoDaddy. No. Oh, okay. I'm pretty techy. I don't use GoDaddy. <laughs> I hate GoDaddy. I refer, them, I refer them to other people, but I use something totally separate. Good. So All right. It wasn't GoDaddy. It might even be before GoDaddy, but anyway. A lot of times when people get the domain name and they also get hosting, I think, oh, uh, bundle GoDaddy. But uh, that doesn't. there's nothing wrong with doing that. That's just, uh, that seems to be the predominant way people did it for so long. Mostly because of all their advertising, frankly. Correct, which I did a great deal of that. Yes. So the, the question comes, so now they're both up for renewal. Yeah. I want to keep the same web hosting company okay. for the hosting, but the domain name. Now, I was thinking they want to charge me twelve ninety five per year okay. for the renewal each year. Right. My question is, can I take that to another provider? You sure can. GoDaddy and renew it with them at a cheaper rate. You sure can. Now, as long as you own that and not the hosting company. Sometimes people, and it sounds like you're smarter than this, but sometimes people make the mistake, especially when they're setting up their website for the first time, of going to a company that sets it all up and buys the domain name for them, which means they own it, and that's a lock-in. You bought the domain name with your credit card. It's in your name, right? Uh, correct, yeah. Good. Then you can take it anywhere. Every domain registrar, so the way it works, and you know this, but I'll just give people the background on this. Your domain name, you know, yahoo.com or techguylabs.com, is the easy-to-remember human version of something that is what the computers use, which is a number, like a phone number. Uh, it's almost as if uh, there's a giant phone book, and people look up techguylabs.com, and they get back a number, which is, we call that number a dotted quad, because it's four numbers separated by dots. 192.168.1.1 is an example of an IP address. Every single computer on the Internet has a unique IP address, including hosting. So it, 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 you need to be in that phone book. The, company, the group, the non-governmental organization uh, that runs that is called ICANN, the Internet, so the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. And they are the ones who give different, who, who, who validate registrars. Everybody who's registering domain, domain names has to be approved by ICANN. They're doing it through ICANN because ultimately... If that domain name is going to work, it has to go back to ICANN, which puts it in the master domain servers. There are 13 of them, and they are the ultimate phone book, the reference, and everything trickles down from them. Uh, and so if you're not in those, then the big phone book, you don't exist. Nobody can, you know, there's no guarantee somebody can type in your domain name and get to you. However, there are many, many registrars, and they all work exactly the same, and ICANN requires them to have a transfer procedure. Typically what will happen is you'll get a special code from your current registrar that you can then go to your new, that proves that you're you. See, the issue is authentication. You don't want somebody to be able to steal your domain name. So your current registrar will have an authentication process. You'll log, typically you'll log in, you'll get that code. You'll go to your new domain and the new registrar, whoever it is, whether it's uh, Hover.com, one of our sponsors, or uh, GoDaddy or anybody, will explain, will walk you through this. But they'll say, now you need to get that code. You give them the code. You go through some rigmarole. And it takes some time. It may take a day or two. It'll take even longer if your current registrar has locked your domain name. Sometimes they do this automatically. Sometimes they do it at your request. The idea being to make it harder to transfer a domain name so yours doesn't get stolen, which would be disastrous. There's a guy who briefly, <laughs> this month, a couple of weeks ago, owned Google.com. Uh, there was a bug. Google is a domain registry. They have a, a domain name service. There was a bug in their domain name service that allowed this guy to buy for $10 Google.com. Now, imagine if this, was, if this transaction had really gone through, what a disaster that would be. Instead of when you go to Google.com getting Google, you got uh, Larry's, uh, you know, uh, sewer repair. It would be, whoa, <laughs> whoa. It would be great for Larry. So uh, Google caught this, and one minute later, he lost it. But for one minute, he owned Google.com. Wow. You don't want that to happen to you. <laughs> so all registrars will have a you know, somewhat tricky procedure to go through to prevent. That's all it is, is to prevent fraud. Are, are they all equal, though? I mean, if they're just registering Yes, they really are all equal. The price is the only difference. 
Al although there's some annoyances. One of the reasons I don't like GoDaddy, they're a perfectly good registrar, but they, when you buy a domain name, they give you a lot of boxes. Would you like to buy this too? Would you like to buy this too? What about this too? And, right. and so that's annoying. Some domain registrars will bundle more services in. For instance, one of the things you often want is something they call typically who is privacy. You, if, you know, for instance, when I register a domain name, I don't want it to point to my home address and phone number Correct. Uh, because that's a publicly uh, public database that you can look up and easily. So uh, yeah. typically you'll have who is privacy. You'll, you'll pay a little extra and they'll point it to a, a privacy register. I just register it to my business address. You could do that. that you don't mind if people see that. But if you're a, per, a private person, you don't have a business address, you don't want to read, put your name and number out in public, you'll use who is privacy. Some companies bundle that into their price. Some don't. Some companies bundle email services into the price. Some don't. So you just have to look and see. But yeah, I mean, my, my the ID Protect I've been using for years. They charge me ten ninety five a year, which you have to renew each year. They can renew the domain up to nine years, and they give me a nine dollar discount. If right. That for the well, Hover.com charges maybe a little more for the domain registry, but they bundle the Who is. And this does make it a little bit different to shop, okay? Because you have to see, well, what do I get for my? But typically. You know, some of this gets kicked back to ICANN. I don't know what I... I should find out what ICANN's fee is. It's probably a few bucks. That would be as low as you can go. Um, and I can't go directly to them, correct? You can. Mm -hmm. You have to go to a uh, registrar. Um, okay. and, and by the way, they're, they're, everybody will do a .com, but if you want uh, .ly, for instance, you have to go to the Libyan registrar because LY is Libya. Uh, if you mm -hmm. want IM, you have to go to the Isle of Man registrar. So uh, d not every domain registrar has every possible, these are called TLDs, these last few letters, the .com, .net, mm -hmm. top-level domains. Not every registrar has all of them. There are also, you'll notice, a vast number of new TLDs, like .name, .biz. Uh, those are, yeah, those are fine. They work. They may confuse your customers. You know, customers expect .com. We, I'm .tv, right? Uh, twit.tv yeah. and I have, off, people often say twit.tv.com I said no <laughs> please don't go there it's <laughs> twit.tv just .tv so you have to consider that if you get a fan as a uh, oddball uh, dot name but there's so few dot coms left a lot of people do that yeah it also seems like even with longevity with the company I've been with you know the price structure is still kind of locked they won't give me a discount being with them like an insurance company would the rates go down or what have you that if I'm you know I, I told them hey, I'm with you guys 11 years can I get a discounted rate <laughs> they like, say no discount. interesting yeah. a lot of people will give you a deal if you buy 10 years and by the way there is an advantage if you know you're going to keep this domain name and I bet you are to buying more years not only if there's a discount and sometimes there is but more importantly, Google, in its rankings, values domain names that are long-term holds because they know that's probably not a spammer. Somebody buys a domain name for a month, yeah, they don't expect to be there long. Well, and, they don't offer anything above two years. That was my question to them. I, I would love to buy a 10-year yeah. domain. So <laughs> check other registrars. I buy 10-year domains from Hover, for instance. Uh, Hover, i, I got to be very clear. They were a sponsor. I moved all my domains to them. I've had a great experience with them, but that's because they were a sponsor. Uh, sure. But so I'm giving you what uh, my experience. I started with Verisign. That was the big guy for years. Um, mm -hmm. And Verisign is by far the most expensive out there. Google now does it. You might check Google domains. Uh, they yeah. have domain re name registrar as well. It doesn't domains.google.com. It doesn't really matter because it all, as long as they're accredited by ICANN, mm -hmm. that's going to go in the big phone book, then you're fine. There is some risk with some of the t weird TLDs that they're not in the big phone book that you have to go through the registrar for the for the name lookup and you don't want that you want to have a, a name that's why you don't get too fancy with the uh with the, the names the tlds yeah i don't use those mine is just a straight a straight dot com yeah that's the mine, best it's actually my full name which is nice so yep. anyone you know like give it out to the ground i'm jealous that. yeah i'm jealous yeah. i you know i came late to the game anybody who registered domains in the uh, 90s, probably got the domain name they wanted. If you waited, though, after 2000, boy, you, there was well, nothing left. Hey, yeah, good. You know, that's an interesting business, too. You know what oh, I mean? yeah. Don't get me started on uh, domain name uh, squatting, because that really, yeah, that's a business. Not a great one, though. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.